Hi guys, welcome to Think IIT Solutions. So in this tutorial, we will be looking at further installations in our Amazon EC2 instance. So in the last uh, tutorial, we have seen how to install the Apache and today we will be continuing with the installations of PHP and SQLite. So just to give you a recap, we have seen the login host name that is 18.221.53.5 that was the IP address of our Amazon EC2 instance and then an authentication key was downloaded while uh, creating the instance on the Amazon AWS server so that key has to be given and then we have installed Apache in the last tutorial by typing sudo apt-get installed Apache2 and in this tutorial we will be seeing how to install PHP and then how to install SQLite in our Amazon EC2 instance so let me just uh, open up putty and then enter the IP address and give the key so this is a very simple step and you have to do it every time you have to log in into your instance so just enter the IP address that is 18.221.53.5 and uh, in the SSH tab on the left side you have to go to auth tab and then give the private key so we will just browse the key and uh, think iot.ppk was the key that was created last time during the Amazon EC2 installation so it will just ask me for login as and then you have to just enter Ubuntu and press enter so once you do that it will login you into the Amazon instance that is a Linux instance wherein you can continue with the installations so as you can see I'll just recap it so I'll just try to install the Apache 2 again and you will see that it will uh, it will give a dialog box or it will give a message saying that it is already the newest version so therefore it will not install it again and then I'll just uh, type the command for installing the PHP now and that command is sudo apt get install php space hyphen y so I had installed php also after I installed that so therefore it is also saying that php is already the newest version so if you have not installed php earlier you can type this command and it will install just within uh, one or two minutes so once the php is installed we will go for the installation of the sqlite in php so i will be typing sudo apt get installed php hyphen sqlite 3 ok i just missed the hyphen here so let me just correct the statement so now i press enter so now you can see that it is installing sqlite in php it will also take hardly uh, half a minute or one minute and uh, then I will be typing another command to install SQLite in the Linux uh, instance itself so the first command was to install PHP in the SQLite and this command is to install P uh, SQLite in our Linux instance so that you can type some commands and you can create some database so I am typing sudo apt-get install SQLite 3 lib SQLite 3 hyphen dev so press Y and then press enter again so it will complete the installation this will also take hardly around 30 seconds to 1 minute to complete it so these are the two uh, steps that we have done to install SQLite the first step that we have done is to install SQLite in the PHP and the next step is we have installed SQLite in our Linux instance so we have to also install SQLite in Python but uh, as it is Python 3 the SQLite is inbuilt so what I have done is I just type python3 here to go into the python environment and then I will just type import sqlite 3 so which is a general thing that we do whenever you want to import a module and when I press enter you can see that the command has been accepted so therefore sqlite 3 is already installed in the python so therefore no need to install it again so in the next lecture we will see the further installations and how to do programming using PHP, HTML as well as SQLite. Thank you.